So you want to use your Wix to create a portfolio. I'm going to show you how we can do this in a very easy, easy way. So the first thing you want to do is to go into the Wix.com, guys. As you can see, I'm already in here. I don't want to focus a lot into how to create an account because what you want to do is to just go into Wix.com, provide an email, the, the verification process, and then you're actually good to go. So uh, as you can see, I do have here all my stuff. Speaking about the portfolio, I have my project, I have collections, and I do have much more. So um, if I want to start from scratch, let's say for example, that I go here into all my sites and you're going to be seeing something like let's say for example create a new site right so once we are in here what i want to do is to choose the actual keyword that i want to tell the computer or in this case wix.com to help me to create so we want to look out for portfolio and you can actually be a little bit more descriptive of what you're looking for. Let's say, for example, that I want to be, I want to create some general portfolio, developer portfolio, or just to create a portfolio. So I want to choose the first option, and I want to choose next. So once I have that successfully done, I want to enter the website name. So let's say, for example, that I just I'm going to input my name. So this is the my private space for the introduction of my actual um, of my actual stuff so we're going to hit into next and just like that my free website is going to be added right away so here which is recommended for you you want to include based to the website you choose so i want to add let's say for example a form i want to add a video i want to add something else like for example a chat an instagram feed and a booking section everything i guess like it's not that useful for me if I want to create a portfolio, but that totally is up to you. After that, hit into next. I'm going to scroll a little bit up and I'm going to go into go to dashboard or you can begin, begin with template, which is actually the first option. Once you hit in there, what you want to do is to look for a template that can be accurate for you. So you can choose whatever you want to, depending on what you are looking for, depending on what is the niche that you are uh, creating here. So uh, what I want to do now is to select one of whatever I want to do, let's say kind of like this one, and I'm going to hit into the view. If you think that this one is accurate for your own taste of your own persona, and you think that this is like the great place to stop posting your stuff, you want to choose the edit this site. So it's going to be popping the edit template so we can manage our own template as we want it to. Uh, so I'm going to just wait a few seconds here and I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to close this one because I think we don't need that anymore. And we want to close this one as well. I just want to focus into the main editor of the actual Wix. So now, now I'm here into the editor of Wix. As you can see, we can add some elements. We had sections. Pages and menu, site settings, designs, application, the business media, and content manager. So speaking about the very first part, I do love to go into the pages and see what is inside this template. For example, I do have the home section. I do have the project section. And here into the project section, I can uh, just show different projects. I have seven different projects that I can change. Uh, and I have the info section which is down below in here. So this is like just one time page side menu. If you go into the upper part, you can see this different three dots. So I think that what I need to add, I'm gonna go into add page. In here, what I want to do is to add a about section. I'm gonna go into the add page like that. Adding your page, good to go. And this one, I'm gonna name this Y me and I'm gonna hit into done so I can choose in here and I can have the full story here so let's say for example that I clicked in here I click into the edit the text why uh, working with me and here you have the example of why people you want to uh, work with you you can input a picture about yourself they have the mission the vision and all that so once again, I'm going to go back into the uh, into the section to the pages. So if I have my site already been uh, created and everything has been now successfully done, I think that I just want to focus it into now each uh, 
each actual uh, page is in order to customize those. So let's go and go into the home section. Now here, as you can see, I do have the header tool. So if I select these horizontal menu, I have the manage menu, I have the navigate, the settings, the layout, and the design. So here in the design, I can change, for example, the uh, kind of menu. So let's see, for example, I want to see something a little bit different, like this. And I can choose to customize this design if you wanted to. For example, the fill color, it's uh, like that. I'm going to leave it like this. You can add, apply a shadow like this. And here's the angle. I'm going to make this lower and the size just a little bit more big. Like this. And then we're good to go. So there you have it. So it kind of looks much better, right? Get into the X mark. And it's time to finish something. You want to get into safe. And here, as you can see, choose a domain to save your site. In my case, you want to choose something. I think that this one is accurate for me. I'm going to leave it like that. Save and continue. And just like that, my actual portfolio has been now updated. Updated. So if I clicked in here and to this part, what I can do is to change the background. So I want to input like something a little bit more interesting. I'm going to hit into done. I'm going to hit into this snowy mountain. So I'm just going to assume that I actually uh, edit this video, but in my case, of course not, but I'm just going to assume that. I'm going to hit into settings. This is the beat opacity, the position, how does the video play? Here I have the normal play in the loop like that. And then we're actually good to go. I'm going to hit into the X mark, save once again. And then I'm going to hit into done. So if I hit now into publish, my site is now live online. So if I go into the view site, I'm going to see the preview of how does my website is going to be looking. So as you can see, this is our website we just created. And you can edit more stuff as you are looking and looking into all the stuff that you are being editing uh, through the different processes. For example, you want to change the actual brand that I'm using here. You can go back into the editor, click into the cancel mode, click here and choose the get text ideas or just delete that and you can add that into the elements. There's so much stuff that you can add, edit and create here into the elements that appears into Wix. So with that being said, guys, we've reached into the very end of the video. Hopefully this was very useful for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about how to add some website, blogs, portfolio, and much more into Wix. So thank you once again for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.